when you when the crisis occurs, because yes, there will be a coup in a country somewhere, <laughs> that you have ready to go people who have various roles with this crisis. And t in today's world, because of instant communication, you're thinking of the country, you're thinking of the volunteers, you're also thinking of the parents, you're thinking of Capitol Hill, you're thinking of the world, you're thinking of the news feeds, and everybody has a perspective on this crisis. And the perspective on this crisis is not necessarily the accurate one, um, or they have variations of accuracy. So you take your procedures, your checklist, you're there and everybody knows what their role is. And part of that is identifying how you communicate. The communication, I think, in a crisis is key, 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 and all the variations of that communication. The next part of the crisis is the safety and security of the Peace Corps volunteers. And we have procedures set up for how to move them around very quickly and get them to where they need to be and not need to be. And then after that, you're looking at what did we learn from this? What are the longer next steps? But it is throughout it all in the preparation, the checklist, the review, the happening, getting that first team together, the check-ins, whether it's hourly or daily as you're moving forward, is I feel on my part the most important thing is asking questions, staying calm, thanking people, uh, bringing people in, being very appreciative of what people are doing.